everyone. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Gemma from Minerva, and today I'm going to introduce you to the wide range of crepe fabrics we have on Minerva. All the fabrics today will also be tagged below this video, so they're easy to find. If you like what you see, please click the follow button above for more videos like this one. Today we're going to cover quite a lot of crepe fabrics, so I'll break it into sections. I will start by giving a brief overview on crepe fabrics, followed by Minerva's classic crepe fabric collection, smooth crepe collection, textured crepe collection, viscose crepe collection, sustainable crepe collection, crepe de chine, and last but not least, some really interesting and unique crepe fabrics. So if you're really interested in one of these categories, please feel free to jump right ahead to that section of the video. Crepe or crepe in French is a fabric with this distinctive, purposefully wrinkled and bumpy texture. It can be made from almost any types of fibers, be it wool, cotton, silk, or synthetic fibers. As long as the manufacturing methods can achieve this distinctive crepe texture. Crepe can be either woven or knit fabric, and it's usually light to medium weight. In terms of usage, crepe is a very popular choice for dresses, blouses, suits, skirts, and many more. In addition, it's also a very popular home decor fabric, often used for curtains, window dressers, and pillows. First, let's dive into the more classic crepe collections from Minerva and start off strong with this soft polyester crepe fabric in the color beige. As you can see, it has a really lovely soft crepe texture to it, which looks very dynamic against the light despite being a solid color. It's about medium to lightweight and it has a little stretch across both the width as well as the length, which adds to the wearing comfort. This is a very versatile fabric available in a few different colors. Because it's light, flowy, and draped so beautifully, you can make it into a summer blouse, skirts, or dresses like the Anna dress by Style So Me. The next fabric in the classic collection is this high twist royal crepe fabric in red. Crepe fabrics, crinkled or granular texture can be achieved through many different methods, such as weaving variation, chemical treatment, or embossing. High twist crepe fabrics like this one is usually woven with crepe yarn. A hard twist yarn produced either with higher number of twists per inch than the ordinary yarn or with alternate S and Z twists. This fabric is really soft and warm to the touch and has a lovely drip. It's a really versatile medium weight fabric and there's a wide range of colors on Minerva. The next fabric here is this luxury smooth crepe fabric in a very bright and beautiful color, lemon. It's a really soft and smooth fabric and it drapes beautifully. It's medium weight, not see-through, and there's a wide range of colors to choose from. The crepe texture is very, very subtle, so you have to go quite close to see it. Such a classic crepe fabric is really versatile. You can make it into soft and floaty tops, 
dresses, skirts, or trousers. The possibilities are truly endless. The last fabric in our classic range is from John Caldor, and we're looking at this fabric called Prestige in the color Indigo. As the name suggests, this is a very high quality fabric. It's a little bit heavier in weight than the previous fabrics. It's very soft and drapes gorgeously, but it still has a good amount of body. Because of this, it's a very versatile fabric. Some ideas are flowy trousers, skirts, dresses, and soft jackets. It's a very practical fabric too, in terms of handling and care. It's machine washable and sews beautifully. This is one of the most popular crepe fabrics we have on Minerva. And we have quite a wide range of colors to choose from. Because the fabric is medium to heavy weight and the color is quite opaque, you should not need to line it if you're choosing a darker color. However, if you are choosing a lighter color, you might consider lining it as needed. The second collection we're going to look at today among the crepe fabrics are the ones with more of a soft, smooth finish. The crepe texture on these is really very subtle, so they're great solid color fabric options. The first one we're going to look at today is this soft touch crepe fabric in the color mint green. It's a really lovely lightweight fabric at a great price. It's very versatile. You can of course use it as a face fabric, especially when you want a soft drape, such as a blouse or a dress. It's also ideal to use as a soft lining for other fabrics. This fabric comes in a huge range of colors on Minerva you definitely find a color that will suit your taste and your occasion. Even if you don't have a use for it today, I do think that it is one of those fabrics that you can bookmark and come back to over and over again. The next fabric in this smooth and soft collection is the Sienna Crepe fabric in this gorgeous mauve color. It's still quite lightweight, but a bit heavier in weight than the previous fabric, so it's a lot less see-through as well. It's softer and smoother. And what I love about this fabric is that it has a beautiful sheen and a very lovely soft drape. You can make so many styles of clothing with this fabric, including tops, blouses, skirts, trousers, and dresses. A project idea for this fabric is the dresses from Simplicity's pattern number 8831 with three different sleeves options. I love the sweetheart neckline details too. The next fabric we have in this collection is the Furson Crepe fabric in the color black. It's a medium weight polyester fabric and probably one of the most slippery crepe fabrics out there. So make sure that you use all the tools and techniques and care for slippery fabrics. It has a really lovely sheen, almost satin-like. It is a bit sheer despite being obviously a dark color, so it would be a great idea to line it as needed. The next fabric is very similar to the first fabric that we just saw, this time in white. It's also a medium weight fabric, a bit heavier than the first one, and not nearly as slippery. It has a really beautiful, soft, smooth finish and a beautiful sheen, as you can see. 
It's also a little bit see-through, but not as much as the first one. A project idea is the dresses from the call sewing pattern number 6696. Of course, it would be a great idea to add lining as needed. The next fabric we have is this microfiber crepe fabric in the color ivory. It may look a bit similar to the fabric we just saw, but it's actually quite different. This is a synthetic fabric consisting of ultra fine fibers. Microfiber fabric is really soft, highly durable, and wrinkle resistant. And it's both reasonably absorbent and water repellent. Due to its impressive electrostatic qualities, microfiber is a great filtration mechanism, leading to a surge of interest in using this fabric as a protective face mask material. Microfiber can retain its look, texture, and color very well, and is very fluid. In addition to face masks, I think it would be a great idea to make it into dresses, blouses, and more. Our next fabric in the smooth crepe range is this peach skin crepe fabric from Jean Caldor called Juliet in the color sea green. Peach skin crepe is a double crepe and both sides have the soft matte peach skin crepe texture. It's a medium weight crepe fabric and it's one of the drapest of all dress fabrics. It's perfect for sewing into tops, skirts, and dresses in soft, unstructured styles. It's very popular to make into evening wear as well. The color chart in this Jean Caldor collection is really lovely with many pastel colors, so don't hesitate to check it out for yourself on Minerva. Another peach skin crepe fabric we have is this one from the Triste collection in the color Bottle Green. I want to draw your attention to just how lustrous this fabric is. Despite the very lustrous look, peach skin fabric is actually quite easy to manage. Because it's so finely woven, the fabric doesn't crease easily, so you can travel really well for special occasions. Once again, as you can see, it has a beautiful drape, yet still maintaining good weight and body. A project idea is the Rachel Comey Blouse by Vogue. I think this fabric is a great match for this very drapey and flowy blouse. The last fabric in our smooth crepe collection is this one called Florenza in the color blue turquoise. It's a very lovely light to medium weight fabric made from 100% polyester and is very soft to the touch. It's quite opaque, very floaty, and have a lovely drape. I think it would be great to make this fabric into blouses, tops, skirts, loose trousers, and dresses. A project idea is the blouses from New Look Sewing Pattern number 6374. In this section, we're going to look at some crepe fabrics with more bumpy or unique texture than the classic crepe finish. These fabrics are great options if you're looking for a solid color, but you want the fabric to look more dynamic. Let's start with this one, which is a textured stretch crepe fabric in the color emerald green. As you can see, it has a beautifully shaped bubble texture. It's very effective in adding interest to an otherwise plain fabric. 
It's pretty opaque in color despite being very thin and delicate to the touch. It's made from 98% polyester and just 2% spandex, which gives it just enough stretch for wearing comfort. It has a lovely drape as well. As an inspiration for this fabric, I would like to highlight this really elegant dress made by our Minerva community member, So Meadow. I love how the fabric has such a lovely drape, yet still can hold the structure so well. The next fabric we have here is the Silhouette Stretch Crepe Fabric in red. It's a medium to heavyweight fabric made from 98% polyester and about 2% spandex, which makes it an easy fit. Similar to the previous fabric, the texture is very pronounced to the touch. And the drape is absolutely gorgeous. It's nice and easy to sew with and has good body and structure. It's a really classic and versatile fabric. The next fabric we have here is also from John Caldor, named Charisma, in the color Ivory. It's a medium to heavyweight fabric with a good amount of body. As you can see, this fabric has a very special and pronounced quill weave which runs diagonally, which makes this fabric really interesting and dynamic. The special weave also gives the fabric a tiny bit of stretch, just enough to add to the wearing comfort. A project idea is from Simplicity's pattern number 9263. I love the simple yet elegant style of the dress and blazer, which I think will work so well with this fabric. The next fabric we have here is this lovely crepe suiting fabric, also by John Caldor, called Lugano. It's a medium to heavyweight fabric, dry to the touch, with a very distinct stripy crepe weave line. I really like the weave lines because they make a solid color fabric like this one look so dynamic. This fabric has lots of body but also drapes beautifully. So for me, this is definitely a white leg trousers moment. As inspiration, I would love to highlight this pair of stylish trousers by our Minerva community member, Sophie Sos. The details on the hips are so chic. And I think the fabric is such a perfect choice to turn that kind of design details into reality. Our last fabric in the textured crepe fabric range is a great choice for the cooler weather months. What we have is the triple crepe fabric in the color aubergine. It's a high quality heavyweight fabric with a very distinct textured surface. It has the most gorgeous drape too. It's made from 100% polyester and has a little bit of stretch along both its width and length, which adds to wearing comfort. It can lend itself to so many different styles, such as dresses, jackets, trousers, and more. In this section, we're going to look at some crepe fabrics made from viscose, which has a distinct, soft, and silk-like character. The first fabric in this range we have today is this John Caldor Rapture Viscose Crepe Fabric in the color Grass Green. It's made from 51% viscose and about 47% polyester, 2% elastic. Because of the large viscose composition, it's very soft and smooth. The last chain makes it stretch just a little bit along the width, 
which makes this fabric very comfortable to wear. I think this color looks so natural and authentic, and it goes on so well with the crepe detail. It really looks like a nice grass field. I think this would be really lovely made into a summer blouse, skirt, or a dress. As an inspiration, I want to show you this beautiful dress made by our Minerva community member, Simi Sim. I love the wonderful drape on the neckline and on the skirt. She looks so comfortable and lovely in this dress. Our next fabric is from the Atelier Brunette Couture Collection. It's a medium to lightweight fabric, but it's quite opaque. It's incredibly soft to the touch, with a very silky, smooth surface. This is quite different from the dry touch feel of many classic crepe fabrics. You can find this fabric in a wide range of colors on Minerva, and the color chart is very special. The colors are inspired by nature and they're very authentic, timeless, and versatile. Because of the silky crepe surface, the colors look so luminous too. This fabric here is in the color Tangerine, which is probably the brightest of the collection. The other colors are more elegantly muted, and they're great to mix and match with each other. So click on the link above to check out all the available colors in this collection. Our next fabric is a moss crepe fabric in the color Misty Blue. With some crepe fabrics, there can be a slight variation in hue, so it's a really good idea to request a sample before committing to a large batch. Moss crepe has a beautiful drape and soft surface. The name moss comes from its slightly twisted surface, a moss-like appearance. I think this fabric will be great for making office wear, dresses, and skirts. It's also capable of withstanding repeated wear without compromising on its quality or appearance. This beautiful fabric is made from 100% viscose. It's quite lightweight and delicate. I love the soft crinkle luster against the light here. Our next fabric is also a moss crepe fabric, but this time it's a stretchy and heavyweight fabric in the color cobalt blue. This fabric is made from about 70% polyester, 26% viscose, and 4% elastane. The viscose still adds to the softness of this fabric, and the elastane gives it just about 10% stretch along the width, which adds to the wearing comfort. The next fabric we have is the washed viscose crepe fabric in the color Dusky Blue. It's a light to medium weight fabric made from 80% viscose and about 20% nylon. This nice blend of fibers makes this fabric really soft and smooth to the touch, especially since the crepe texture is quite fine and subtle. It can get wrinkled, so an iron or steamer will come in handy. Viscose and nylon are both moisture wicking and fast drying, so this is a great choice for a summer garment. What I also love about this fabric is that it has a very unique crinkled sheen against the light, which is really lovely. The next fabric we have here is this polyester viscose stretch crepe fabric in the color Plum. This medium to heavyweight fabric is made from 63% polyester, 33% viscose, and about 4% spandex. 
As you can imagine, the 4% spandex gives the fabric a little stretch for added wearing comfort. And the 33% viscose fibers adds to the softness of this fabric. When you look close, you can also see the subtle sparkles from the fabric, which is so elegant. As an inspiration for this fabric, I would like to show you this really cool jumpsuit made by our Minerva community member, Trine Schruder. I love how architectural it looks and the mock wrap detail. It looks both strong and elegant. The last fabric we have in the Visco selection is this real stretch crepe fabric in this very authentic khaki color. It's made from 63% polyester, 33% viscose, and 4% spandex as well. So the characteristics are very close to the fabric we just saw. Because of this lovely stretch, I think a pair of wide-legged trousers will be perfect for this fabric. An idea is the Emerson Pants and Shorts by True Bias. To start us off on the sustainability range, let's take a look at this recycled polyester crepe fabric in the color ivory. It's a lightweight fabric made from 100% recycled polyester. To be honest, it looks and feels just like non-recycled polyester crepe fabric. It's very soft and the texture is on the smoother side. It's a little see-through, so make sure you line it as needed. Other than that, it really is a great earth-friendly option. Our next sustainable fabric is the Tencel Crispy Crepe Fabric by Meat Milk in the color Pecan. This fabric is made from 86% tensile fiber and 14% polyester. For those of you who might not be familiar, tensile is made of wood pulp from sustainably certified beech and eucalyptus trees. The wood pulp are then made into fibers that can be spun. The composition of natural wood fibers makes tensile fabric very comfortable to wear it's soft and breathable, and it has a really good ability to absorb and let go of moisture. The tensile used in the meat milk collection are all certified by Lensing, which means that the sustainability quality is guaranteed. Another tensile fabric we have today is also from the meat milk collection, and it is a tensile green jacquard crepe fabric in a deep green color. One more thing to mention about tensile is that the fibers are naturally antibacterial, which means less need for washing. Though when you do, we suggest washing in cold water. The natural fibers are anti-static and doesn't cling to the body. As you can see, this fabric has a very unique and intricate jacquard woven pattern. Even the selvage edge is very lovely too. Despite the fabric being in solid color, it would be worthwhile to plan out which direction you want the jacquard stripes to go. An inspiration for this fabric is this drop that gorgeous dress made by our Minerva community member, Cassie Nicole Creates. She has used one of my favorite dresses, which is the Calvin dress by True Bias to create this beautiful look. I think it turned out to a perfect combination of fabric and pattern. <laughs> We have two crepe de chine fabrics to show you today. One made from 100% polyester 
and the other from 100% silk. Let's take a look at the polyester one to start. And this is in the color of candy pink. It's a relatively lightweight fabric with a slight sheen that is quintessential to crepe de chine fabrics. The crinkled crepe texture is very subtle and is very smooth to the touch. In terms of handling, this fabric is on the slippery side, so make sure you account for that during sewing. Because of the twist of yarns, it's pretty wrinkle resistant, so that's a nice part to keep in mind. There is a huge selection of colors of this fabric available on Minerva, and the price is really reasonable as well. The next crepe de chine we have is this Liberty London Kensington Silk Crepe de Chine fabric in the color Coral. It's a very lightweight fabric made from 100% silk. As you can imagine, it's incredibly lustrous and floaty with a soft drape. The texture is so soft and delicate, a little bit drier to the touch compared to the polyester crepe de chine we just saw. The dry matte crepe finish makes it not only more durable, but also easier to handle, unlike many other 100% silk fabrics. For inspiration, I'd love to highlight the stunning baby doll dress made by our Minerva community member, Couture Affair. I'm a big fan of the tie front, the puff sleeves, and not to mention just the overall loose and floaty silhouette. <laughs> Our first fabric in the unique crepe fabric category is this linen look crepe fabric in the color denim blue. I love this fabric because on the first glance, it's a bit hard to tell what fabric it is. I love that mystery factor. It could pass for denim, crepe, or linen. It's a medium weight fabric made from 100% polyester. Because of the texture, it's a bit thicker than the average medium weight fabrics. The texture is also quite pronounced to the touch. So if you do have sensitive skin, I recommend potentially lining it if you need it. Our next fabric is the Mulberry Crepe fabric in the very descriptive color name of Shocking Pink. As you can see, the color is very bright and saturated. It's very lightweight and a bit see-through, so I definitely recommend putting lining where you need it. It's very delicate and almost silk-like, so I encourage everyone to use all the tools and techniques for handling slippery fabrics. For example, you might want to use sharp dressmaker's pins with a smooth taper so you don't make big holes when pinning the fabric. You might also need to use a lot of pins to secure the fabric while sewing. As you can see, the fabric is a bit stretchy across the width and even a bit stretchy across the length as well. There is a wide range of color selections on Minerva, so definitely check it out. Our next fabric is a fabulous Prada crepe satin suiting fabric. It's self satin lined with a slight one-way stretch across the width. Take a look at the contrast between the matte and satin side. Such a beautiful contrast. You can use either side as a face fabric or a combination of both to create that dramatic effect. The shinier side is a lot less slippery than the other satin fabrics, partially because this fabric is PU coated, 
which makes the material more flexible, lightweight, and water resistant. It's not waterproof though, so still be very careful with it. It's also anti-static. Overall, really high quality fabric for a special occasion garment. An idea for this gorgeous fabric is the Rebecca Balance Dress by Vogue. This fabric is one of the classics and one of the most popular amongst Minerva community members. There is a huge selection of colors on Minerva. And the price is really reasonable too, given the highest quality of this fabric. So I encourage you to click on the link above and check it out for yourself. The next fabric we have is this heavy textured stretch crepe fabric in the color ochre. As the name suggests, it is a little bit heavier in weight. However, it's not bulky at all. It's actually quite clean and crisp. The crepe texture on this fabric is very subtle and fine. Despite containing 6% spandex, it's just stretchy enough, about 10% stretch along the width to give a good amount of wearing comfort. With such a clean and crisp suiting fabric, my top choice are to make it into pants, pencil skirts, or a suit jacket. An inspiration is this wonderful fall jumpsuit made by our Minerva community member, Kelly Olsen. I love the idea of a fall jumpsuit. Basically, it is two separate pieces, but when combined together, appearing to be a jumpsuit. So you have more flexibility in mixing and matching the top and bottom with other pieces in your wardrobe. The last fabric we have today is this wool crepe fabric in the color ginger and it's made from 100% wool. Wool fabrics have so many wonderful characteristics. Most notably, it retains air and warmth very well. It's also wrinkle resistant, so if you are looking for a nice winter fabric, this is a great option to look into. An inspiration for this fabric is this elegant winter wrap dress made by our Minerva community member, Tip Top Sewing, with this fabric but in a different color, aubergine. I really love the wrap neckline and how well it fits. As you can see, the fabric has a really lovely soft drape too. I hope you have enjoyed learning about some of the crepe fabrics we offer at Minerva. We would love to hear from you and what your favorite crepe fabrics are, so leave us a comment below. If you have any questions at all, please leave us a comment below as well. If you haven't already, I strongly encourage you to sign up for a free Minerva account. It will allow you to save all the products mentioned in this video, as well as any other products you see on Minerva. When you do sign up, Minerva will send you a free discount code to use off of your next purchase. In addition, you can also join Minerva Club which will give you 10% off of all purchases for 12 months. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.